Scientology works and can benefit others, but the church itself is not for everyone. Hubbard started out with Dianetics as a method to resolve one's mind just by teaming up with another. But as his subject evolved into Scientology, so came the need for an organization. Not everyone is willing to follow the church's policies. Not everyone can afford it. And with the church's terrible press, it's no surprise, so many people steer clear of them. Yet none of that managed to keep me away. It wasn't until after I joined that I found out not everyone who wants auditing qualifies for it. If you've worked for certain government agencies, are terminally ill, or have a psychiatric history, then the church will refuse to audit you. In my case, as a teen, I was hospitalized for an eating disorder and treated with medications. I could have left in a huff, never to return. Sometimes I wish I had. But there are people who've trained as auditors and because of that eventually changed the church's mind about them. I would have likely been one of them, but halfway through my training came the golden age of tech, a revision of the books, the courses, and the auditing as supposedly the church had been doing things wrong all this time. The quality of services improved, but anyone trained before this overhaul was required to retrain at their own expense. I refused as a matter of principle. They might have eventually worn me down if I hadn't discovered TROM. That stands for the Resolution of the Mind. It was developed by Dennis Stevens, a career Scientologist and friend of Hubbard's, as a way to achieve the stated goals of Scientology, but without the auditor or the church. Unlike others in the past who studied Hubbard's works and then tried coming up with something better intending to rival the church. Dennis documented his findings intending to share such with Hubbard. If there's one thing that sold me on Trom, it would be knowing just that. Everything I hoped to gain from Scientology auditing, I got from Trom instead. Plus a few pleasant surprises. Now I pursue my spiritual freedom, but also enjoy the personal freedom. A member of the church simply doesn't have. Members of the Church of Scientology are forbidden to practice TROM. Those who engage in spiritual practices developed by former members are labeled squirrels and thrown out with a warning to all other members to disconnect from them lest they be thrown out too. So I decided to keep TROM to myself instead of loudly leaving the church. I don't want to make my friends and family have to choose between me and Scientology. I get a call from the church now and then. I tell them I'm busy. <laughs> if you don't want to be a Scientologist anymore, that's the best way to handle it. I have no illusions of millions of people practicing TROM, but I believe everyone should at least have a chance to learn it and practice it. And that's why I am no longer a Scientologist, but a traumer and invite you to learn about the subject too. If you are a Scientologist who's happy with the church, then never mind any of those. Trauma is not for you. It has never been nor ever will be my intention to talk anyone out of their religion. For those unfamiliar with either subject, I invite you to watch the video, Time Breaking, The Illusion of Time Explained. If you're an ex-Scientologist, I recommend watching Returning in Dianetics versus Time Breaking in Trom to get a clear idea of where Dianetics ends and Trom begins. The Church of Scientology has the right to choose who they help and who they don't, but I have my rights too, and so do you. We are DIY Salvation. Don't just use your mind, resolve it.